the tallest tower in the world falling behind schedule, a hotel that never welcomed anyone or a building that collapses like a sandcastle. Get comfortable. Here are the 8 most expensive construction mistakes in the world. You've traveled a lot in your life, and seen airports of all kinds. But I bet the one you'll see today you haven't seen yet. Why am I so sure? Well, because it only opened recently, in the middle of a pandemic after 9 years of delay, and it has only made a few trips so far not very exciting. Do you want to know its history? Direction Berlin, at Willy Brandt Airport. A seemingly ordinary airport with a surprising structure. On October 31, 2020, it finally opens its doors after 9 years of delay, because yes it was supposed to be inaugurated in 2011. The inauguration date has been postponed every year. In the meantime, the airport has experienced an avalanche of problems, construction defects, financial extensions, resignations of directors and employees, damage, defects, and even corruption. Nine years later, it is finally a sunny day, or almost, for the airport which, in full confinement, opens its doors to welcome very few travelers. Moreover, you will be surprised to learn that it carries out only two flights daily. An alarming figure, when one knows that it made in all 6 ME of overtaking. It will take years to amortize this huge amount of money, and as the weather is never very nice in Berlin, it's not looking good for this cursed airport. Despite a grey sky, which does not bode well, I'm just saying that, the two EasyJet and Lufthansa planes were generously sprayed with water by the firemen to mark the occasion. I know that all this gloom and doom has taken its toll on your morale, I apologize in advance, but if one day you think of going to Berlin and you choose to land in Willy Brandt, it's at your own risk. You've probably already heard of Stuttgart 21, don't you know anything about it? Well, it's still not operational, but that's no reason not to know about this great German railway project. In fact, Stuttgart 21 is a project that aims to rethink the railway junction of the city of Stuttgart with no less than 57 kilometers of lines to be built, 16 tunnels to be dug on a total length of 33 kilometers, and 4 new stations. It is the most ambitious project in Europe today. Construction work began in 2010, and should normally be completed by 2022, except that the project is currently the subject of great controversy, and the reason is mainly budgetary. Indeed, the Stuttgart 21 project requires more money than it was planned, in figures, in the 1 to 8 billion euros of overrun, just that. According to the German press, the main reason for the overruns is that the tenders for the construction contracts have resulted in hefty bills, due to a general construction boom, which only delays the project further. Now the question is who will cover all these costs? The state of Baden-Württemberg, the city of Stuttgart, the local transport association, Stuttgart Airport, and the DB have signed a financial agreement to cover four. 5 billion euros, but another 4 billion euros still have to be found. Some politicians are even thinking of aborting the project as it is no longer profitable. Here is now the Rugong Hotel in North Korea, with its 330 meters height, it is undoubtedly the highest skyscraper of the country. You find it incredible because of its exceptional architecture and you want to know more about it. Even stay there? Why not? Except that even if by a miracle you manage to get back to North Korea, you soon discover that it will be impossible for you to stay there since this hotel, although it is very old, has never accommodated anyone. Its construction started in 1987, it was to have 105 floors, 3,600 rooms, casinos, and discotheques. Everything let believe that this place was going to receive the most fortunate people of the world. Except that 30 years later, the hotel has still not opened its doors and has even left a sinister atmosphere. Moreover, it is not for nothing that it is nicknamed, the Hotel of Death. This tragedy, if one can qualify it as such, is due to a bad management of the works. The work was to be completed two years later and the hotel was to open in 1989. But political problems came to suspend the work. Indeed, the breakup of the Soviet Union, North Korea's main supporter, was the main cause. Moreover, although the work was almost finished, the huge building remained for 16 years without doors, windows, or furniture, until Oriskam, an Egyptian investor came in 2008 to finish what was left in construction. They set a completion date of 2012, but you guessed it, it's now 2021 and still no hotel, because again, it didn't go as planned. This morbid little glimpse has chilled you a bit, hasn't it? But you can stay in other even more splendid hotels, which are really open. You know many great bridges in the world. You probably know the Brooklyn Bridge, the George Washington Bridge, or even the Tower Bridge. But you certainly don't know the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington, D.C. Because it collapsed years before you were born. Do you want to know more about it? 
Well, hang on, it's going to be a bit of a shock. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge was a suspension bridge in the state of Washington. It was completed in 1940 after two years of intensive work. Its length was 1.8 kilometers and its height was 59 m. At the time, it was inaugurated as the third largest suspension bridge in the world, but the builders had a false sense of joy, as only four months later, it tragically collapsed, due to a small gust of wind of 65 km per hour. The bridge was actually destroyed because of the extension phenomenon. High amplitude torsional oscillations appeared around 10 am and led to the collapse of the bridge one hour later. Even though it was normally designed to resist all types of wind, even the lightest ones, irony. It seems that it was made of marshmallow, a little shaken? I warned you, now that you're back on dry land, take the time to learn about bridges and how they were built. That way, the next time you cross one, you'll at least feel confident. You are in Sydney, discovering this wonderful city, and you want to enter the splendid and mythical Sydney Opera House. You bought your tickets for Mozart and Shostakovich a long time ago and it's a good thing because tonight you're in the mood for classical music, it's great. Except that when the show starts, while you are excited as a flea to attend a major concert, well, you realize that you don't hear much, a real sacrilege. Here's why you won't believe your ears. The Sydney Opera House, a huge building with an exceptional architecture, symbol of Australia, which for more than 47 years has been offering concerts of all kinds, and which hosts 2,500 events annually, has a terrible acoustic. In fact, several artists who have performed there have judged the acoustics of the large hall to be catastrophic and hideous. The director of the Opera House suggested that the problem was related to the fact that the hall was originally designed to have a stage house and a system of hangars, but the idea was abandoned along the way, and the rooms were eventually switched. The gigantic dimensions of the large room make it a huge echo chamber. Rest assured, this problem will not last long, as the opera is going to get a new look. The main objective will be to improve the acoustics of this great hall of 2,679 seats. But this has a cost, nearly $150 million Australian, will be put on the table. You are terribly disappointed, especially since Sydney it's quite far away. But look at the bright side, the next time you come back, it will only be better. You may not have enjoyed the concert, but you can't say you've never been to the Sydney Opera House. Have you ever been to Shanghai? If so, you've probably never seen the Lotus Riverside Block 7, right? That's normal because it doesn't exist anymore. Come with me, I'll tell you the history of this building. I bet it'll blow your mind. The Lotus Riverside Block 7 was a building complex located in the middle of Shanghai in the Minhang district. Its construction was launched in 2007 and completed in 2009. But as soon as it was finished, Block 7, one of the 11 buildings, collapsed even though it was new and nobody had set foot in it yet, causing the death of a worker. The question that comes to your mind is, why? Well, I'll tell you. The architects in charge of the project had the excellent idea of digging an underground parking lot under the 13-story building. And to think they went to math, great for that. And as the rain always comes at the wrong time, the earth block exerted too much pressure and deformed the foundations. Result, boom, nothing left, a real sandcastle. Millions of dollars in dust. Speaking of dust, you're feeling a little dirty after a trip to the ruins, aren't you? Now you're back home. Luckily your building is standing firm on its foundation. But just in case you hear someone talking about creating an underground parking lot one day, stop them. You're in Dongguan, China, and you're taking a leisurely stroll through the streets of the city when you suddenly see the new South China Mall. A building with a surface of more than 650,320 square meters. You decide to enter it out of curiosity. But once inside, you realize that there is not a soul living there. This surprises you, especially since the mall is open to the public. You ask some passers by what's wrong and they tell you that today, the new South China Mall is 99% empty, as there are only 47 stores open out of 2,350. Hu Garong, the owner of the mall, expected to receive more than 70,000 visitors a day from all over the world. But the businessman who has amassed millions in the marketing of instant noodles did not have the wind in his sails that time. He was never able to find tenants for the stores, which felt that the center was poorly located. You have a little twinge in your heart, that's normal. That's the way life goes, success is not found at every door. As for you, don't stay there, there are so many other fascinating places to discover in Shanghai, and don't worry about Hu Garong, he will recover. Who knows, he has certainly digested the pill by now, and with his noodles, it must have gone perfectly. You will go window shopping elsewhere. 
You certainly love Dubai, the city of all pleasures, where adventure, thrills, and discoveries are combined in one experience, and you've always dreamed of climbing the city's jewel, the Burj Khalifa, the tallest tower on earth, and being on top of the world. But did you know that another tower is currently under construction and that it intends to exceed the 828 meters of Burj Khalifa? Have I shocked you? We'll tell you. Since 2013, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is building a new skyscraper in the city of Jeddah that should measure more than one kilometer. It is called the Kingdom Tower and is financed by the Saudi billionaire, Prince Al Walid bin Talal. But the work that began in 2013 and was supposed to be completed in 2018, is, unfortunately, taking a lot of delay, especially because of the collapse of oil prices. The preliminary costs of this titanic project are estimated at $1.2 billion. And for now, since we have no news of the Kingdom Tower, Burj Khalifa can still look good for quite a while. Does it frustrate you not to know when this tower will be completed? So are we. Anyway, you'll know soon, because this fabulous project is coming soon. So what do you think about these construction mistakes? Give us your opinion in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss any of our next content.